So now we're going to talk about search, but of course a lot of people go to Google to search. You don't really need to go to Google to search. Up here at the top, where we used to call this the address bar, it's actually something called the Omni search bar. And to search, if we're searching Native American Indians, um, we can just search right here and press enter and we have the search. Now you do have to set this up in your settings over here on the right hand side under under settings, but this is something that you can do. Um, you should just use the Omnibox. Now the one problem with this type of search is this is searching uh, Native or American or Indian. So what I'm going to want to do is start doing my search engine math here by putting it in quotes. And you're going to start seeing uh, that I'm getting better information by putting it in quotes. Um, and you'll also see that I get images uh, in here as well. So we start getting better information when we start using our quotations. So now I can even do some more math. I can say culture and I start getting adding culture to it. Now the reason I have Native American Indian in quotes is I want those three words to appear in that order together. That's when you use quotes. But if somewhere in the article I want to have culture, I'm going to put a plus in front. And so now I start finding uh, stuff maybe on, on culture or maybe I should do customs. Uh, you kind of have to work with this because sometimes you will not get what you want and you just have to kind of keep working. See here I'm getting something on eBay. So my next thing is I'm going to minus and I'm going to minus eBay. Anything from eBay I don't want to get. Um, and I can even say minus Minecraft because I don't know why that's doing that. And minus, oops I forgot to put a minus Minecraft like that and then I can say minus auction and I can start just getting exactly what I want to do and, and see how I've just been looking at this and keep adding that information in so this is called search engine math and I can keep adding and taking things away to get exactly what I want from my search engine so now I'm looking at Native American Indian and I've clicked on images up at the top. You can immediately go from a search on the web to search on images it'll show you here. Now notice I have safe search turned on. Make sure you do have your safe search on and have that as well. Now um, one thing that a lot of times you have to minus with this particular term is you could minus casino and it's not going to change anything at the top but it will change some of the search things at the bottom and just notice those as well. Now there's this other thing called search tools here and this is important when you're making movies or you're putting stuff on the web that you have the rights to use it. Now when you're just doing a report you can use just about any picture that you want but when you're doing video you're putting it on the web you need to kind of look at, at these types of things. And if for education, you can do non-commercial reuse, but if you're going to put it in something else, it would be non-commercial with modification. And you would search that way uh, to find it. It's going to filter out some of these other things that people have a right to. Now, once I find an image that I want to use, say I wanted to use this image. Now this, if I right click and save this image, this image is not going to be what we call high res. It's not going to be big enough. So what I always do is I go to view image. Now the other thing is you can see the res right here, 528 by 360. I know if I click view image and it's kind of small, if I try to stretch it big, it's not going to be very good quality. So what I can do is click on some of these others and say, okay, can I find a higher res? And I'm looking at this number right here. Can I find a higher res image? Uh, that maybe I can use and really these are not uh, great images there so let me see if I can find a better one here now that's a really high res it's 2792 by 2141 but still if I copy this this is what's called a thumbnail it's a lot smaller so I want to get a bigger one I always click view image and then I can right click and you can copy the image and paste it right into Word you can also do save image and save it down onto your computer and then insert. Um, I actually have something on my computer I call it junk drawer that's where I put everything so I can find it later and I know I can delete it later. But let's say I'm just going to right click and copy this image. Now I can open up Microsoft Word and um, I can just right click and paste that image in and it should just appear right here in Microsoft Word and that's how we're going to 
uh, put some images in to some of the documents that we're creating. Just remember if it's going to go on the web you have slightly different usage rights than if you just use it in, in your classroom. So now we're going to learn about Easter eggs. Do a barrel roll. These are special little things that, oops, got to spell it right. And that's the case with all search engines. Okay, so do a barrel roll. We've got a skew. Then you've got, and it makes it crooked, you've got Atari Breakout. Press enter. Click images. There you go. Now you're going to be playing Breakout. You can, there you go. Play that out and boom, I already lost. You can also do uh, Zerg Rush and Zerg Rush, click back on web, that's where it is, Zerg Rush, and Zergs are going to attack the screen and you can play a little game there too. Now if I do uh, Justin Bieber, there's this um, game about the degrees of separation from um, Kevin Bacon, and I say Bacon number, it's going to show me how uh, he is separated from Justin Bieber, which is kind of crazy. Now if I type in Google Pac-Man. It's going to give me a Pac-Man game and then I can click to play that and then I can also do what does the fox say and it'll do funny sounds and all kinds of stuff that has to do with a fox which is pretty cool. Okay, have fun and remember you got to spell stuff right in Google as shown by these Easter eggs.